Hello there. So today I am going to go back to my old college town or south of the Canadian border and I'm going to be seeing a play that my friends have written. For then I think I'm going to do some antiquing. I haven't really done like a vlog video before but I thought I'd take you along with me and we can see what we can find. So let's head out. Okay, it's been about two hours. We are in Bellingham, and now I am going to make my way to some shops that I want to see. The first one is going to be this shop that sells secondhand sewing supplies. And I've never been there before, so I'm really excited to check it out. Hopefully, they will be open. It's raining a lot. <laughs> so now I'm outside a thrift store. It's called Warnigan Thrift, and I actually have not been to this place either. I think it's new. I'm gonna go check this out and then maybe head to another part of town where it's easier to kind of just walk from shop to shop. I kind of also want a coffee to warm up my bones, so I'm gonna go see what we can see. Hello. I am back from my trip up north and I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. I did not do as much shopping as I wanted because of all that rain. The downtown Bellingham area is very spread out as far as like places that I would have wanted to go. I don't know how to explain this. It would have been easier to just park somewhere and walk from block to block. However, it was so wet and rainy I decided I didn't want to do that. But I did get a few lovely things and I cannot wait to share them with you. So we're gonna start with clothes. Uh, two items of clothing while I was out and I'm super excited about both of them. First thing is this adorable sweater. It is from a San Francisco brand and I think it is vintage, maybe like 90s vintage, but still older. It's got that very preppy sort of 1930s look and I'm really excited to try styling this. I'm not too confident in how I'm gonna style it yet, but I'm very excited. So I think that will be a lot of fun. The second item of clothing that I am so excited about is this amazing true vintage 1960s dress. It's very Jackie Kennedy. The pattern is this gold zigzaggy stripe and it's made out of a knit. This is unfortunately a little bit too small for me at the moment, but we can fix that. So not too concerned. I got this at Ragfinery and it was $10 and I am so excited. These are the kind of perfect finds, like very, very cheap, very, very old. <laughs> things that I can practice my sewing on. And that's like the perfect thing for me to find when I'm out thrifting or out shopping. So this is gonna be great. I'm thrilled. <laughs> From here, everything else is sewing supplies. So I'm gonna show you fabric first. Everything I got fabric wise was sold by pound. So like you would get a certain amount of fabric and then they would weigh it and tell you how much you owed them because all of this is from Ragfinery. And they resell things that people donate to them. So I got this lovely wool. Look at that beautiful pattern. Kate described this as a very Americana and I just, I love that description. I think it's the perfect way to describe this look. So I don't know how much there is. Let's see. 
there's not a lot here, maybe a yard. So I gotta figure out some way to make this into a cute skirt because this is saying skirt to me. And then I got this lovely length of sage green cotton. I just love this. It is so pretty. I think I look really nice in green. So I've been wanting to make myself either a dress or a skirt in some green. And I feel like this is a color that can go well between seasons. So I'm very excited for that. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but it'll probably be a video when I figure it out. So stick around for that. Because I am so excited for summer. I got this brown check gingham. I want to do, again, I don't know how much is in here, probably like two yards. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'd say about two yards. So I wanna try and make a dress out of this, something like off the shoulder, very romantic, but we will see what we can do with the amount of length that I have procured. And then for our final fabric find of the day, we have this adorable pink print. They almost look like butterflies, but they are leaves. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm really excited because it is just so pretty and princessy, and I know I'm gonna feel great when I wear whatever I'm gonna make out of it. Okay, I did find one pattern as well, and I'm very excited because, take a look at this. Butterick 6918. I've never seen this design before. It's got a very cute gathered yoke at the front, and I'm really excited to try and make this also this is definitely from the 50s or early 60s, and it is uncut, which is just ridiculous to me. Another thing that I love about this is the original price for the pattern is 50 cents, and I got this for 50 cents, so I don't know, that, that just made me happy. I also got some pinking shears which I have been wanting to try for a long time. They were $8 and they look good and scary. There is a little rust on one side, but my dad said that he'd help me fix it and they open and close quite easily. And the final thing that I got while I was out and about is this little bit of lace. I wanna make some very like Edwardian style tops for the summer and trim them up cute with some nice lace. It's hard to find lace that's not very, very plasticky. I think it looks quite nice. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me for this little haul. I really appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe and give us a like. Be brave and do your best. Thanks, bye.